Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for today's video. And today we're gonna go over and I'm gonna talk about some must have Enduro mods that you gotta have if you go out and ride Enduro. Now, why are these mods so important? As we know, when we take our bikes out on the trails, we absolutely abuse these things. They get used up, they're smashing, banging on things, you're dropping them, you're launching up ledges. It's a fun time, right? But the bike's taking a lot of abuse. Now these mods are gonna help your bike stay alive, gonna keep it running, keep it looking nice, looking as fresh and as new as it can for as long as it can. Now the first mod we're gonna showcase are these sweet engine covers we got from SX Parts. Let's check them out. So these are the SX Parts engine covers. Now these are fantastic as they actually help protect you from scratching the actual engine casing. And what I've seen firsthand, we've been out Enduro riding before and we actually had a buddy who had one of these KLX 140s, his was the L model, and he did, ended up dropping it and a rock went right through the side of the case here and punched a hole straight through it and he had his oil leaking out everywhere and we're way out in the woods. And uh, that's the importance of having one of these engine casing cover protectors on the bike is that they can actually help prevent you from punching out the side of your engine casing, which can happen when you're out on the trail and you drop the bike down. We ended up having to use a band-aid and like some duct tape and a whole like jerry rig fix just to try and get his bike out of the woods, which all could have been prevented with a pair of these engine covers. So like I said, I got these guys here off of SX Parts. Website will be linked down in the description. It's not a sponsor or paid advertisement. It's just what I picked up. Now they are just made out of plastic. They're relatively inexpensive uh, and they did take a slight bit of trimming just around this corner here to make it be able to fit on the engine. It wasn't perfect fitting, but for the price, you couldn't complain. Like really, I think there were like 15 bucks for these for both sides. And they cover the actual side of the casing here where your clutch is, the oil filter cover, which is cool. And it's on the other side too here as well. So it does protect both sides. It wraps all the way down around to the bottom side of it. So you're protected down here from rocks coming up at the bottom as well. And that is absolutely sick. So these engine plates are super, super sweet and must have if you're out riding enduro. It really does help keep your bike clean too from all the scratches on the sides of the engine casing. So yeah, these things, awesome enduro mod. Definitely a must have if you end up dropping your bike. It can help you protect your uh, casing that you don't punch a hole through it. Now while we're talking about protection on the bikes, I also picked up a set of their frame covers here. Now these do the same thing, same idea as the engine cover is and that they actually just protect your frame. So if you guys know when you ride enduro, you know that this spot here and behind where the frame is, your boot rubs up against and it usually wears it down. As you guys can see as an example on the XR100 we have laying in the garage, you can see here that it's all just chafed up and been just chewed up by the boot rubbing here along the frame and it just gets absolutely destroyed. Now scratches aren't the worst thing that could happen when you're out enduro riding, but if you wanna keep your bike looking new and fresh for as long as it can, right? And those things are easily replaceable. You go ahead and you pull them right off and then you have your clean frame left in behind that's not all scratched to hell. So if you were to go to sell your bike, it still looks minty fresh and you can pop them off. Now this piece we also picked up from our friends over at SX Parts. Now this part is not directly listed to fit a KLX 140. This is for the Philippine specific KLX 150. So there was some slight modifications. We had to do some slight trimming along this edge Edge here just for it to be able to clear this kick panel uh, and then we also had to do some slight trimming here for our zip tie to like kind of sit in more securely but now this thing is not going anywhere and it is it, it's on there good uh, these guys were branded to fit the klx 140 so those are just a direct bolt in you're just going to remove the ex existing bolts that are there you're going to leave the metal covers on and then just put these on on top of it with the bolts going through these two combined are just really good protectors to keep your bike looking fresh for as long as it can and protect it from scratches as well as poking a hole through the side of your casing when you drop it. Now both of these parts will be listed down in the description if you guys are interested in picking them up. Now the next mod we're going to talk about is an absolute 100% must. You have to have this mod if you're going to do enduro or you guarantee you're going to wreck your bike and worsely you're going to wreck your frame and an important part of the frame. So this next mod we're going to talk about is a skid plate. Now, 
Now, skid plate is going to be super important when you're out riding enduro as you crest up over boulders or over logs and stuff, and they are hitting up into the frame and you're not pinching the frame, crushing it. It loses its rigidity and its strength. It no longer becomes a tube, it becomes something that's flat on the bottom, and once that happens, it loses its rigidity. Now, rigidity is important to have in your frame if you want it to stay together in one piece. So picking up one of these skid plates is absolutely crucial. Now, as I was saying, some of the stock skid plates are just plastic. Plastic does not hold up, it's just gonna end up breaking, cracking, and snapping off, and then you're gonna end up messing up your frame. Now, it's important when picking out one of these skid plates that it's actually a thick enough piece of metal that it's just not gonna bend and be junk after one time hitting it. This thing needs to be able to stand up to multiple hits and lots of abuse. Now if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you guys would know how much I preach the importance of hand guards or bark busters and specifically the ones that have the metal bars behind them. Now, as you guys can see here, we have a pair of Acerbis hand guards. And what's important and crucial is that they have this metal bar that runs throughout the hand guard. Now, this is what's actually gonna protect you as this thing gets smashed and hit by trees to not crush your hands. And more importantly, not break off either your clutch or brake levers. Now, this is the other style of hand guard, which literally virtually offers no real protection. If you were to hit this hard enough into a tree, uh, you're probably still gonna hurt your hands and you still have lots of room here to end up breaking your clutch lever and stuffing the end of the handlebar down into the dirt. So these ones are kind of just, I don't know, they're junk. I don't like them. They don't have the metal bar. This piece here is really what makes the actual hand guard sturdy, stiff, and be able to take a good hard hit as well as stoving the end of your handlebar down into the ground without messing up your throttle. Now it is a saying that people with these wraparound hand guards have ended up, if you're going too fast, you're like stove it into a ditch and get flung over the handlebars that your wrist you get trapped in here and as you go over it could snap your wrists now personally i've never seen it happen and uh, i'd rather take that risk of having full wraparound hand guards at the potential that maybe you have a fluke crash where you break your wrist but if it can protect you from multiple tree hits and all sorts of crashing and falling to keep your handlebars and your throttle from getting all messed up in an enduro race i think they're worth having so taking those mods and putting them all together a set of wraparound hand guards frame protector your engine casing protector and another frame protector here down with the skid plate adding those three things together those are going to be the best protection enduro mods you can do to your dirt bike to help keep it in a running good clean order now of course there are a whole bunch of other mods that you can do to help with your enduro riding but those are the ones i thought were the most important and are the best ones to get especially for a new enduro rider is to protect the bike from any damage it could take out on the trails now if you guys enjoyed today's video go down below leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out